since power washed, it doesn't look 100% better, but damn near looks better. But damn does, but darn near it does look better. It's not a hell of a lot better, but it's definitely better. Let's see what we can get into with Life with Bilsif's YouTube channel. How you doing today? Welcome to Life with Bilsif. I'm gonna put this other cover back on and this and that and the other thing. I'll get the belt back on and we're gonna run her and see if the squeaking's gone. So I'm glad you're back to watch us. I got the air breather cleaned out. We haven't uh, decided where we're gonna put that. It's still wet. So I think I might mount it down here somewhere in here and then disconnect her like that. That way it's down out of the way. I don't know, we'll see. But I did get screws for this thing. It's still dirty. Really going. I'm gonna have to wipe that off by hand. I'll tell you one thing, it's not real easy power washing something like this, because all it wants to do is take off anyways. So most of the time you can't even power wash something like this. But we're gonna WD-40 everything and lube it all up so she'll be mint when I'm done. All right, so we'll slap this back on, like so, which goes about right there. And then we'll uh, slap a screw in that I built for it, which is right here, I think. Oh, decent. Yeah, it goes down. That comes out, this goes over like that somewhere. But we should put the bottom one in first because we can't get to it if we don't. The bottom one is tricky because it's way down here and it doesn't go through that thing. But I want to put this back together right this time because I never did have screws in it. I just zip tie her on and away it went. Not this time, Captain, not this time. Damn, holy cow, this is a fucking awkward spot to get to. Here, let me move you, give me a sec, I'll move you. So you can see what's really going on. So this is where I am down here. And as you can see, it's not the best spot to get to at all. So we'll inchworm this screw all the way in, literally inchworm, because some asshole decided that that was a great spot for goddamn wire tie down. Why wouldn't they? Holy shit, it's hot in here. Captain, I'm gonna have to take my jacket off. Ooh, day, ooh. Oh yeah, this is gonna be friggin' time consuming. It is what it is, it is. Is it even going in? Oh yeah, it's going. It's just slow. The threads are probably all full of shit. Okay, I gotta get a ratchet or something. Let's see if we can't get this in there. Of course we can't. What a shitty ass fucking design. The engineers are working overtime on this one, Captain. She's going. These screws are a little long, but that's all I had. Is it even turning? Probably not. The exhaust is full of water, now it's all over my leg. Looked like a cat just pissed on me. For real? There we go. There's one. So now this can go back on, which goes in here, like so. Goddamn thing to get in. There we go. Actually, I might need to bend that thing back first, because I can't get to it once that cover's on. We gotta keep this stuff from going to the frame. There it is. There we go. More screws. Send her home. I need a light. Brought to you by Snap On. Why wouldn't you? Well, f it's right there. It's gonna go in further. There it goes. Almost like a workout. That's gonna go back around to here, which we gotta tie up. Remember, this shroud helps to keep the engine cool too. So last year when it wasn't on right, it probably wasn't blowing the air through like it's supposed to. So I could have actually cocked it over that way. Being to cocked over your lenses, how you looking? We've got one left, so we're doing good. Oh yeah, get in there. I got her, but is it started is the question. I don't think so. Oh yeah, this thing's just right cocked over. It's not even lining up properly. This is not fun, Jim. But I will get it. I'll come back when I get it. The battery's almost dead here, so let's get this in and then we'll come back. Just so everybody knows too, I don't know who else is running a GoPro Hero 4, but the battery suck for GoPro Hero 4 is big time. I bought Eight batteries from Batman, right there. They worked great, the first two charges. The next charge after that, garbage. I just charged one fully right now, put it in, and it's reading half a battery. 
Like, what a pile of shit. Just thought you'd throw that in there. I got it all back together now. I got that on, that on, all the wires and this and that. And the other thing we're trying to break her on. The only thing I'm going to run with it right now is without the air breather because we're not going far. We're just going to test it. So let's get testing this thing and then I'll go over it again with you. Because if some of you haven't went back and looked at my other videos, you wouldn't know it's all involved with decent. But we'll get him out of the garage here and we'll see if he can't run. Oh yeah, the belt's definitely back on. Oh, she's hard to push with the belt on, Jim. I gotta fix the steering in this thing too, remind me. What is hanging off the back of you? What is really going on? Let's get this seat down for now. There we go. All right, good enough. Let's see what happens. Oh man, start up with a heartbeat. You know what I wish I had is a pull-out uh, choke that would stay open. Cause this choke sucks. I have to hold it the whole time till it warms up. I'm gonna have to order a belt. I think. See if that's what's causing it. See, there it is. Actually, it's not as bad. So it must be the belt. Yeah, that's definitely belt. It's all good. Other than that, she's running. Man, boys, Slide her out. Austin Powers, that's what I feel like right now. So that's definitely what it is, it's a belt, because I can hear it when I'm trying to move. So there you go. Let's shut this door and get some heat back into us. So basically the old decent here, she's got a horn, of course. She's got a fully functional lit up panel, which tells me voltage. It's got uh, headlights, of course. It's got cup holders for some drinkage. It's got some under the dash glow. It's got stereo and everything else. Underneath is, of course, the blinky blinkies, which I have to replace because they're all decked over, but that gives you an idea. And then back here, of course, I use that strip lighting to go around the decent sign, so that all glows. And then we've got a carphonic subwoofer up there, which is probably caught. Two six and a half Marines here. Kicker, two four, four inch uh, kickers there. So there you go. And I got my antenna down there. Oh yeah, I'm getting stations, boys. See if I can get you something here. See if we can scan the station in for you. You're gonna go one channel at a time, are you? Holy, that antenna works good. Don't be jealous. I'll show you the stereo later because I'll just get copyright on it anyways. We're gonna polish this thing up now, clean her all up, give her a nice little shine and a little glowage, and we'll, uh, oh, check this out. Ready? Ready? Hope you enjoyed episode two of getting decent tuned up a little bit. But like I said, we'll get the air breather done. Oh, f We'll get the air breather done. We'll get her polished up and then we'll show her to you again. Leave any comments down below if you have any ideas for the air breather, where both to put it or anything like that because I'm always open for your suggestions. I love you guys, eh? Give me all the suggestions you want. Why wouldn't you? Other than that, I'm gonna use some probably uh, waterless wash from good old gold glass accessories on the old golf cart because that stuff works good. I don't know if anybody's used it or not. I'll show it to you right there. If anybody's used that, leave a comment down below. But it works friggin' decent. And if you want some in your Insarnia area, Go Glass Accessories has it in stock. Friggin' right we do. Don't forget to check out the merch. Love you all. And you know what to do for now.